and ask him, Mr. Peter Obi, which he's the presidential candidate, he's the leader of the party, de facto leader of the Labour Party as we speak, to condemn his lawmakers for doing something against the tenant. Most of this... Hello there, I'm back again you know, with another update. The team be say before, people thought Osini Rufai, this man and Labour Party supporter. As in, the way he always start claiming other parties, most especially Tinubu and Atiku. But despite the fact that his reaction proves he lost Peter Obi, now in the training video, which I'll be playing you shortly, please just do it to stay connected to the end of this video to get the full update. It was somehow, or should I just say, accusing Peter Obi as if it was his responsibility to score the Labour Party lawmakers who want to accept the SUV gifts or more. A lot of people don't they talk or ever since this video has been trendy because people just they say different things entirely. My people, here is the video when Osenu Rufai was accusing Peter Obi. <laughs> it lost the Oko. I beg, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel as you are watching. Enjoy the LP lawmakers and told them to actually reject these SUVs mm -hmm. in line with the ideology of the Labour Party. Supporters of the Labour Party have come out to say, well, Peter Obi, if you can look at this one, it's, it's not against the official use of cars, but against the actual money. What's, what's your take look, on pure that? Pure and simple. And let's say the way it is. Mm -hmm. I expected Mr. Peter Obi to condemn lawmakers just like Aburi said and said, reject it. Pure and simple, but he didn't. He said he talked to them about it. They said it's for official use. Heck yeah, we know it's for official use, not for personal use. It's an official vehicle. But let's now extend the conversation about official use. We all know that when you say it's official use, after a certain time, amortization happens. The value goes down and they resell it for cheap to this individual. So that's why when we ask, where are the cars these lawmakers used four years ago? It's not where to be found today. So we all know that's not going to last forever. And that's why we're saying, with the tenets at which this Labour Party lawmakers got in there, they must condemn and they must reject for fairness. And that's why I also equate it to the case of the yacht. We can't be talking about the yacht and condemning it without condemning the lawmakers, and by extension, people, these people that finally were elected lawmakers, wouldn't have gotten there without the wave of Peter B and Labour. So Peter B should be able to call them to order. And that's what we're just saying. See, when we're talking about transparency and integrity, it should be across board. In that regard, he didn't condemn the year. He just said, okay, uh, they said it's for official use. But that's what we are saying, that when we are in power and everything. No, Labour is not the power as we speak. The lawmakers are there. That's why they should be condemned. What I should hear, like Bure, Abure, and I, I, and I think I salute Abure on this. Abure well, was like, was please. Last month he said yes, that. And Ab I think it's a party thing that they all agreed so, to Abure, condemn. So Abure said we should reject it and any lawmaker that takes it is against the tenets of the Labour Party. Mm. Most of the people that are lawmakers, they, they were from other political parties. They got in there because of the, if not for Labour Party, most of them they knew they would not, they would not be elected. Mm. They were rejected from other political parties that found the wave of Labour and used it. So what does Labour stand for? It stands for forthrightness, as Labour claims, and integrity. And they should start by falling the way. That's just the appearance so of your, your angst is that he should have done it openly. As openly opposed, condemn it. And say, you know what, what I condemn the lawmakers. He called them and he asked them the questions and they said... They will give you answers. Were, but I'm saying condemn it. I said that's not okay. our position. Okay. Pure and simple. Well, hmm. my people, everybody just the collects woto woto. Left and right from Osene Rufai. Well, in his own point of view, Peter Obi could have just come out openly to condemn the old stuff. But my people, how you take see the matter? Because it's as if Peter Obi doesn't have the right and power to do that. But as Osemi has stated, he's the front man and that shouldn't be any problem for him. At least it should be easy for Peter Obi to say the truth. But how you take see the matter? I beg, in case you have one or two you want to share with us, please drop it in the comment section and also if you never subscribe to this channel, I beg, please do well to do that. And don't forget to like and share this video so that more people can get to watch it. Thanks. I'll see you in my next video.